doesn't work, does it? It is, it is a complicated, self-directed process. You must learn to simplify if you want to achieve it. Yes, you can quote me on that. <laughs> I have learned to complicate the crap out of my life and find out the simplest things that matter. Going from where you are to your rock star dream is a process. Everyone has a process. Mine's just going to be a little bit different than most. So, this one here is what I tell everybody. This is how you get there. You screw up. If you'll notice, everything is not perfect here today. I didn't expect it to be. As last night when I was here at midnight getting all this ready, I said to Gwen, I said, you watch. Everything's going to go wrong. She's like, mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy it. We get out to the parking lot. <laughs> I get on my bike, I fire it up, she gets on her bike and she pushes the button on the happens. Pushes the button on the happens. Pushes the button on the happens. She just had brand new batteries with her bike. I had the battery replaced in her key fob, which is a security thing with those bikes. So I'm like, I can't figure out what it is. So I'm like, let me try this. My bike's running. I pull my key fob apart and take the battery out and switch the batteries in the key fob and for sure not first fires up. So I'm like, this is at 12. No, it was about quarter to 12 last night. So then all the wonderful things that you see printed that, that I printed out for you today, not Jessica's pretty stuff with, with uh, color, but my black and white stuff. We sent it all up to the printer to have done. We get up to her office where we have it all printed out and the printer isn't working. At 12.45, we finally go, let's print it off on a black and white printer. We want to go home with that. I've been up for two days at that point. And she sat there and monkeyed with it. After she printed these off, she's monkeying with it while I'm putting them all together. And she goes, finally I hear this, aha, I got it. And I'm like, this is fine right now. <laughs> and I said to her, I'm going to use this as a story tomorrow. And she said, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so once again, if I'm in the trash on Monday, we know that it's fine. Yeah. You screw up in life. Life's all about screw ups. If you think you're going to do nothing but succeed in life, the worst thing that can happen to anybody is they succeed first. The worst thing that can happen to you. Because if you've got that success down, you'll never try again. You learn from it. I learned last night what it was. I had the whole problem figured out with the battery on her bike and what it was. And by the time we get home, she's like, well, what do you do? I said, just take your other key fob with you. I have two key fobs. I can put another one together and put my bike running in the morning. Got I didn't done. learn. No I didn't bring it. Yeah, it's done. So <laughs> what do you say? I fixed the problem. So you learn from whatever it is you messed up. So many people don't. They screw up, and they screw up, and they screw up, and they do the thing. same thing. We call that, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, Insanity. <laughs> Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So you try again. It's the only place you probably will find me say try. I might say, I hate no try. There is no try. There is only do. So you succeed. Now, once you get to this point of success in life, what happens? You have to learn something new, get out of the comfort zone. What do you do? You go back up and screw up. That's why all the arrows point around. It's a process. I tell